As the Taliban consolidate control over their new Islamic Emirate in Afghanistan, women have largely disappeared from public as extremists force them from their jobs and into their homes, bringing an end to 20 years of progress toward freedom and equality. The takeover of Afghanistan by Taliban has put danger to the rights of women in new ways again. To understand this, we need to know that how challenging was women's life before the recent attacks. The threat of violence has long been a harsh and brutal reality for many women in Afghanistan. A survey conducted by the Demographic and Health Program of USAID in 2015 shows that 90% of women are facing some kind of violence by male. Since August 15, when the militant group took over the capital, Taliban spokespeople have attempted to placate fears of a return to the pre-2001 strictures, saying women will live according to Sharia law, though without elaborating what that might mean in practice. Women have said they fear their jobs will be taken from them, and they will be forced to stay at home, only leaving in the company of a male relative and then only in the all-covering burqa, as happened during the Taliban's 1996-2001 regime. In some parts of the country, women are being married to Taliban fighters as spoils of war. Some activists have disappeared from their homes as the Taliban go door to door looking for enemies. They are forcing people to give them food and cook them food. Also, there are so many young women are being in the past few weeks being shipped into neighboring countries in coffins to be used as sex slaves, Ayubi, who lives in the US after fleeing for my life from the Taliban said. Zabi Hala Mujahid, told reporters in Kabul on Tuesday that, Taliban were working on procedures for female government workers to return to their jobs but that for now, they should stay home for security reasons. This comes amid fears that the Taliban might curtail the freedom of women in the country, as it happened previously. The United Nations Human Rights Chief, Michelle Bachelet has said that, Taliban treatment of women and girls would be a fundamental red line. 